All that water is coming from activity in the Gulf of Mexico. Tonight, Tropical Storm Gordon is set to strengthen there and is forecast to take aim at Mississippi and Alabama tomorrow night, possibly as a Category 1 hurricane. Manuel Bojorquez is following the storm in Florida. Labor Day in South Florida was a wash. Soon after forming off the coast, Tropical Storm Gordon unleashed wind gusts of up to 50 miles per hour and dumped up to four inches of rain, leading officials to issue warnings about street flooding and shut down some beaches due to dangerous rip currents. Typically bustling South Beach was empty, save for a few drenched tourists like Jerry and Nicola Matthews from Ireland. Well, we're used to this weather. You're used to this weather? Yeah, Just home. not, you don't want it on your vacation, No, we don't. Right? We Where really we? want some. The storm also caused more than 375 flights out of South Florida to be delayed and canceled more than a dozen. As Gordon moves into the warm waters of the Gulf of Mexico, the concern is it could strengthen before making landfall again. Warnings are now up for coastal sections of the Florida Panhandle, Alabama, Mississippi, and Louisiana. New Orleans Mayor LaToya Cantrell says emergency response plans have been activated. We've got the pumps and power we believe we need again uh, to be safe and protect our residents. Even as Gordon pushes away from South Florida, there are still red flag warnings along the beaches here and a flood watch remains in effect until late tonight. Maurice Manuel Bojorquez in North Miami Beach.